Here you go, chef. Thank you. So what do you think, chef? Well, the texture is quite weird. Um, has a particular disgusting shine to it. Let's see how it actually tastes. That's disgusting. Disgraceful. I put some parsley. You are a very bad chef. Your kitchen will be shut down immediately. Your kitchen's done. Your food's done. All of it's done. You're done. Your mama's done. Everything's done. Disgraceful food. Mm, look who it is. Decided to tap on my video. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay, yeah. But welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reacting to another Kitchen Nightmares video. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what Gordon Ramsay got to say now. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Thank you. Oh, shit. How long has that been under the grill? Because it looks like it's been overcooked. It's piping hot. Is he microwaving that? I don't know, girl. Yes. When normally something's that piping hot like that, it always tells you that it's been microwaved. Can you just check with the chef? Okay, I'll check. Listen, thank you. Okay, Martin. The quiche is warmed in the oven. Yeah. Hasn't seen the microwave. No. Nope. Why are you using... Why are you putting stuff in the microwave? This is not Walmart where you sell microwavable food. This is a restaurant where people pay over $10 for a dish and you're putting them in the microwave. I'd sue them. No. Okay. Chef. Um, quiche? No, my no, no, I asked him if he put it in. He said no. He's lying. Yeah, hold on, mate. I'm convinced this has been microwaved. Look at it, it's congealed. It's just like a, a, a rubber puck. Sometimes if he gets a little backed up, I, I've seen him do it before. Backed up? This is ridiculous. Welcome to Jean's Southern Cuisine. Oh, Chef hello. Ramsey, how are you? Oh, brother, how are you? This is Amelia, I'm Amelia. I'm the host Amelia. of you see me today. Excellent. Um, and that looks like it's the waiting room of a doctor's clinic. Okay, Chef Ramsey. No? <laughs> Her laugh is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you think? Does it look inviting? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I feel like I'm about to get my tooth pulled. Oh, that's not quick. Jeez. I'm sorry, excuse me. How are you both? Now, are we looking at a uh, root canal issue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, come on. They, they're waiting. Okay. Will you come with me, please? Yeah. Good luck. Oh my god, it is a mess. <laughs> the doctor will see you now. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh man. It's funny. All right, and how are you folks doing today? Y'all, I just realized it's showing like another Kitchen Nightmares episode. Girl, you just, just like now realizing that? A lot of them in one video. Girl, so we don't care. Let's just keep watching. Salvi, your server. I'll do the ribs. I'm gonna have the fried pork chops. Okay. All right, Mike, how are you? Okay, chef. So, orders come in. Where do the orders go? The slips, when the orders come, they put them on the magnet. On there? On there? Oh, in that refrigerator, chef. So, you just, you just, you just stick them on there. That's it. Yes, chef. Wow, this is just insane. All right, cause Chanel, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get these orders out of here, okay? Follow my lead, okay? No, we're all doing our own tickets. Because we mm. get confused when we share the same ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do a ticket. I'll do a ticket, you do We can't do the same ticket. Calm down, we gotta, calm get down. we gotta get the orders out. No calm down. Orders need to go out. I've worked in quite a few restaurants. I've never seen a restaurant run like this in my entire life. The kitchen staff doesn't know how to run a kitchen, and I don't think that Miss Jean fully knows how to run a restaurant. So the end result is just complete and utter chaos. Catfish is up. Oh, Lord. 
somehow, this disorganized kitchen has managed to get the food out. Hey, I can't lie, that food would look, ooh. Unfortunately, the customers are finding little to cheer about. Is everything okay? The pork chops feel like they've been cooked for like five hours. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong? Oh, no. He said the pork chops were overdone. I mean, that's just, uh, man, soul food. I want you to serve that on fucking death row. Food is not coming out right. We need the food to get out here. Let's go. No more bullshit. Let's go. Wow. Oh, this is so depressing. <coughs> Damn. I said, Jay, you really do need a job. I mean, like, I'm broke ass. So you're on your go. cell phone? Yeah. You're working? No. Yes, sir, I am. You're on the phone. I'm on the phone. That's exactly that. I am. Um, You're right. Uh, any reason why? Not interested? Uh... Well, because there was no customers out here. Yeah, no just ask him. And she's right. Staff don't give a fuck, and they're always on the phone. I walk out, and you're on your phone. Oh, she's talking about the people in the kitchen. Oh, the no, I'm talking about you you're on talking about the phone. Me? Yes, I'm guilty. Yeah, there you go. Guilty. I don't want to get straight to the point. OK. Um, so why do you think it's necessary to be on your phone in the middle of service? I'm working. I can see out the window. Somebody comes, I can see them. Right, Amelia? Oh, we see somebody, you go over there and get them. Wow. I can see out the window, chef. I can see out the window. <laughs> Okay, let's start with, uh, is this a typo? Buffalo chicken skins? No, it's fried chicken with buffalo sauce on top. I oh, know, I get that, skins. but then you've got buffalo chicken skins again. Oh, yes, that is a typo. <laughs> uh, did you know that was on there? Yes. Lisa did notice right after they were printed and just never fixed. I suppose for, obviously, locals that are slightly double vision. <laughs> okay, um, let's go for the uh, Bob's Big Boy platter. Okay. Um, anything you'd recommend, darling? Lobster roll. I'll taste it. Yeah. Okay. I gotta go for the chowder. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. There you go, Mark. Chef, ordering in. Okay. All right. All right. They didn't have the formal training. Oh no. But I like to think that I can hold my own. Whoa, too much. Oof. These plates are filthy dirty. I mean, literally caked in dust. Jessica? Yes? Darling, when was the last time these plates were taken down and cleaned? Um, when did we open? Eight years ago. Yes. You've never taken them down since you've been here. I don't believe so. Wow. My God. Lisa, he's up against the window pulling all the knickknacks down that were all, like, nasty and dusty. If I walked in there and that much dust was on a plate, I would be sneezing 24-7 because I'm very sensitive to dust. He's wiping them all like with his hands right now. Inches thick. Inches thick. Damn, he's observant. <laughs> yes. What is up? Thank you. This is the big buoy. Wow. And it comes with fries and onion rings. Bloody hell. Just cascades off the plate. What's that? A scallop, a small one. That's a scallop. Yes. How rubbery that is. I know. Honestly. They were sent back early the same because they were I too mean... chewy and tough. Wow. It's disgusting. We're, uh, yeah. It's just dumped on here. Do they season anything? No. No seasoning? Bro, I gotta have seasoning on my fries. I get so mad when places that actually season their fries, like Zaxby's, they stop putting seasoning on their fries. I get so mad when they give me those dry fries. Like, they're good fries, but where's the seasoning? At least put some pepper and salt. But I would prefer some seasoning. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'll bypass that, darling. Okay. Otherwise, I'll need a bypass. Okay. That was a big boy disappointment, let me tell you. Let's order. Okay. Got to go for the stuffed uh, banana peppers. Um, I've got to try that Italian stuffed filet. Okay, how do you yeah. like it done? Medium rare, please. Okay. Um, Carletta. Mm -hmm. It's our signature sauce. And who came up with that idea? Dino. Dino. Mm -hmm. It yeah, came to okay. him in a drink. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> our claim to fame came in a dream from someone who knows nothing about food or how to prepare it. Flippin' heck, okay. <laughs> Um, got to go for the chicken carletta, because okay. that's the sauce that was dreamt of one night in his dream. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And it begins. Don't sweat the chef. 
Do what you guys normally do. Oh, well, they do what they normally do, I guess. Break plates. What is that, olive oil? Yeah, but it doesn't taste yeah, like olive oil. Do you mind if I have a little taste? Oh, it's very watery. It tastes like frying oil. <laughs> it does. Excuse me, sir. Is yes. Tina nearby? Yeah, absolutely. Please, thank you. Wow, that's dreadful. Tina? Chef Ramsay's asking for you at 43. Oh, uh, no. Tina's been such a hands-off manager for so many years now that she's become so blasé. Yes, sir. Um, what is that olive oil there? Is that canola oil? No, it's... It's olive oil? Pons oh, oh, Pons oil. Is that the... Is that what you're serving there? It's that mix. Look at that. Jeez, it smells off. You smell that? What's in there? I don't know. When was the last time they were cleaned? I don't know. Oh, no. Every single time I watch some of these um, videos, they always have a hard time cleaning stuff. Like, bro, keep, keep, keep your restaurant clean. Because it's going to get shut down for E. coli or something. You're the front of house. What a mess. Is the bathroom nearby? I can just yes, go and wash my hands. To the Please. right. Shit, what happened there? What's that? Tiramisu. Oh my god. Are they done every day? Probably a couple weeks ago. What? No. Wait, is that a fake tiramisu? Like no, you... it's... That's a real tiramisu? Oh, come on. No, that's... So that's just sat there from fresh. And you said two weeks? No, probably three weeks ago. That No, nah, because that was the same exact thing that happened last time. Three weeks ago. Then they said, no, they're not. Three weeks ago. There ain't no wait, boy. That is longer than three weeks. This stinks. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Sam. Yes. How long have these desserts been sat here? A couple months. A couple of months? A couple of months? A couple of months? You yeah. just told me three weeks. No, I would say under a month. It was a couple months. <laughs> Do they stay out all night? Yeah. That is a fucking health hazard. Oh my god. Shit, my boots. I, I can't, I can't do this. The chef's filet right here. Okay. Here's our stuffed filet. This, this is the stuffed filet. Yes. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Wow. What a mess. I asked for mid rare, but. Ooh. That is literally raw. Stick your knife in it to, to kill it. I mean, the thing's still fucking moving. Um, <laughs> Sam, uh, I'm trying to cut into that. I asked for mid rare, but it's like uh, raw. It's a little raw. Is that steak frozen? Probably. Could you just check with the chef? Yes. Please? Was that steak frozen? He wants to know. I don't. Was this frozen? Yeah. Yeah. That okay. Well, awesome. he said it's raw. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Which one? Okay. Fried ravioli. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well. It's a pre-made ravioli. That cheese could be anything. It could be somebody's booty crumbs, somebody's molded cheese. I'm going to be concerned if I say, well, what is the five cheeses? And he's like, I don't know then is it really cheese? They're not homemade. The, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread and ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh my God. Ah. Horrible. It's something deep, fried, frozen. It doesn't even taste like cheese. Uh, I told y'all, it's not cheese. Jesus, no. You got a whole uh, whey, and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Chef Ramsey, I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also, uh, American Garana 
something called a cheese whey and culture blend. Where the fuck is that from in Italy? I don't, I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skimmed cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. What? Dipped in fat, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. This is pork chop, the smother pork chop. Thank you. Just like someone shot on my plate. It's just dry. That's bland. Nothing seasoned there. It's not seasoned. And I see, I see, I see. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Why are you not seasoning your food? How's your pork chop? Yeah, the pork chop is dry. The mac and cheese is way overcooked and very mushy. You'd think a soul food restaurant would pride itself on cooking mac and cheese, but no, it's just all... Is that heated in the microwave, though? No, I think they just put it in the, in the oven to warm for our lunch service. Thank you. What's wrong? He's saying that the macaroni and cheese is dry and overcooked. Ooh. He asked me, have we warmed it in the microwave? I told him, no, it just came out of the oven. They may have put it in the microwave okay. for a minute. Only for a minute, though. I'm sick and tired of the microwave. Y'all are gonna stop using the microwave! Gosh! Why? Why do you need to use a microwave? Uh, Everything is cooked to perfection. There is nothing on that menu that is not perfect. Okay, here we go. I'm taking over now. Fried collard greens. Move it to the middle. Put an orange chip in the middle. What the frick That's is it. that? How can you actually say this is a show for restaurant? Or the collard greens are not tasting like collard greens. This is just like pepper soil. You know, you can't have food tasting like that. Tell chef I said to taste those collard greens. They're perfect. Here you go, chef. Collard greens. Wow. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Why is there Doritos and tortilla chips on collard greens? Indeed. Wow. It's bland. No seasoning. It's just fried and soggy and limp. Uh, James, what do you think? You got to eat it all together. If you eat it all together, mm -hmm. it should. Well, I did eat it all together. It still stayed bland. Thank you. My God. What is he saying about our stuff now? Little blend. Oh my God. Collard greens. It's great. He's crazy. Where's the chitlins at? It's in the microwave. They're delicious. Ew. One out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. Okay. No, no. Chitlins. No, no. What you is that? It. I mean, I know chitlets are the intestine, but should they really stink? Before I do taste them, I'd like to pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are oh, not about to succumb to on. those chitlins. <laughs> oh, my Hallelujah. God. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh, my God. That looks like some molded oatmeal with breakfast sausage on it. Oh, chitlets, chitlets. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chitlets and rice. <laughs> he's looking back to throwing up. Throwing up? Holy crap. <laughs> that looked a hot mess. Cause girl, what are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.